Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 15th. Our readings are 2 Kings chapter 21, Ezekiel chapter 11 and Luke chapter 7. And our thought is, Blessed is the one. As usual, all our chapters are full of meaningful lessons. First, Hezekiah, after his life is extended 15 years, is succeeded by a 12-year-old son, Manasseh, who turns out to be a very bad king. We wonder about the role of Hephzibah, his mother, in this. The spirituality of the person we marry is very important. Hephzibah's name is apparently a Phoenician origin, meaning delight of Baal. And the Spirit takes Ezekiel to Jerusalem and gives him insight into God's reaction. This arises from his awareness of the minds of those living there. God always has such knowledge. How awesome when we contemplate and meditate on this. Ezekiel learns, But as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations, I will bring their deeds upon their own heads, declares the Lord God. Chapter 11, verse 21. What will soon happen in our days? In Luke chapter 7, we read how messengers come to Jesus from John the Baptist. Our Lord has been doing many remarkable miracles, but when he brings to life again a young man who has been carried out to his burial, fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. And this report about him spread throughout the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. John's disciples reported these things to him, and John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? Verses 16 to 19. The way Jesus answers him is instructive and challenging. John evidently had certain expectation of the Messiah's work, And what was happening did not fit these. We look back at chapter 4 and see how Jesus quoted from a scroll of Isaiah when in the synagogue, verses 17 to 19. How challenging to John and others is the way Jesus responds to these messengers. Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, The poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Verses 22 to 23. He is telling John to check out and believe all that the prophets have spoken. These are the words of Jesus we will read in chapter 24, verse 25. Then, after his resurrection, he speaks to two disciples on the road to Emmaus. This is a lesson for us as we anticipate the return of our Lord and our expectations are increasing. We must take a lesson from the quandary of John the Baptist and look to all that the prophets have written. They are not like pieces of a jigsaw. We have more and more pieces that seem to fit. But there are still others that we are not sure about, events yet to come, maybe very soon. We will make the picture clearer and clearer. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.